It's been a great time for racing fans with the recent hit Forza Horizon 5 and the upcoming Gran Turismo 7, but recently Codemasters and EA gave fans even more with Red Legends, a racing game with a pretty decent story shot in live action, blending together a game which is great, but I feel that it might have released at the wrong time. Grid is no new name in the racing genre, as Grid Legends, the fifth installment in the racing series developed by Codemasters and currently managed by Electronic Arts, holds the weight of the entire franchise, but does it deliver? The game starts with a cinematic featuring two racers competing at the new racing track Strata Alpine. They clash with a member of Seneca Racing taken out and Raven Wet's Nathan McCain appearing to be Vault. You are then thrown into the race halfway through and your journey through Grid Legends begins. It's a fairly decent and exciting opening which had me intrigued from the beginning. With the focus on live action, I felt a bit more connected to the story. The driven to glory narrative mode is a fresh spin on the Grid premise. You're assigned as Driver 22 to Seneca Squad by Marcus Addo. Driven to Glory mode invites players to stock car races at both the fictitious events and real life stadiums. The Nemesis system from Grid 2019 makes a reappearance and has a significant influence on offline races. If you ram an opponent too hard, they become your nemesis and will gladly ram you back anytime they have the chance. Every now and then, I get a nemesis because they hit me or perhaps I overtook them or hit them for too long. Career mode follows a more traditional structure with additional vehicles and events unlock gradually as you advance. It's also where you get XP, in-game currency and level up. Every race event you partake in earns you XP with on-screen prompts showing you how much you've earned for overtakes, drafting, staying on the optimal racing line and so on. This affects your driver level which determines which improvements are accessible to you. There's a standard Codemasters livelry editor which is basic yet excellent at making rapid and believable livelries. Eventually you may choose from a wide selection of designs and then choose the colors for the four layers to make your complete artwork. Upgrades in career modes are divided into mechanic and teammates and may be purchased to lower the cost of new vehicles or increase your teammate performance. Grid Legends has over 100 vehicles and getting your hands on all of them for your garage is going to take a long time. However, an excellent compromise has been reached to ensure that you can drive whichever vehicle you choose right away. If you wish to utilize a car you don't own in a race, you can do so for free in return for significant reductions in your racing winnings and the knowledge that none of the miles traveled will go towards unlocking that car's upgrades. The online portion is reasonable and has some very unique aspects to it. There are basic features such as weekly and monthly events as well as public and private online multiplayer events. The race creator tools are also rather strong for online play. In essence, you can choose any combination, not just cars, but car classes, race types, tracks, weather conditions, time of day and anything you want really for as many laps as you want with a maximum of 22 players. A definite standout is complete cross play. You'll be able to race online with anybody else who has the game regardless of platform, whether it's a PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series S or Series X or a PC. The physics is a mix between realism and an arcade feeling. It's not too deep, but it feels that it's exactly where it needs to be. The vehicles don't seem like they have much weight behind them either, as smaller electronic vehicles feels the same as a big truck and there are some weird invisible wall sections, not to mention how simple it is to become caught up with another vehicle. Visually, Grid Legends is a stunning game to look at, but it falls slightly behind other titles like Forza Horizon 5. The weather effects though is by far some of the best I've seen in any racing game and is definitely a standout. As for the audio and sound, vehicles sound authentic and you can really hear the engine differences, although the music can be a bit too much at times, so I ended up just turning the music off throughout the whole game. Grid Legends is definitely the best of the series, but struggles to get up there with some of the other racing giants like Forza Horizon and Gran Turismo, yet has a unique niche that satisfies any racing fan out there. Had I to put a score on this, then I'd easily give it a 7 out of 10. I'd like to thank EA and Codemasters for providing me with a review key on PlayStation 5 and for more gaming content check out the rest of my channel. If you enjoyed this video then give me a thumbs up, if you just like it then give me a thumbs down, but please tell me why so I can improve my videos. My name is Frank, I'm the Red Side Guy and frankly thank you for watching. Catch you guys in the next video.